My name is Ian Mills. Cotter Dam was the first piece of urban infrastructure to be built in Canberra after the site was selected as a national capital in 1912. When the dam was built, it was only built to part height. It was originally intended to be 30 metres high, but because the wall was on and because Canberra was a small place, the decision was made to limit the height of the dam in the first instance to around 20 metres. This footage of the dam being raised in 1949 and, and 1950 came to light in 1984 when we were investigating constructing a gallery inside the dam in order to drill um, into the foundation to improve the drainage of the foundations of the dam. After the Second World War in 1945, Canberra was starting to expand and they decided to take in, raise the height of the dam but by this time they had concerns about the original design and decided not to go to the full height of 30 metres and simply added another 7 metres to the dam and this, that work was done between 1949 and 1951 and this film footage um, from that time shows the process of raising the dam. A lot of the labour force that was involved in this work were people who um, had basically um, left Europe after the war and were looking for a new future in Australia. The other thing that's interesting about this footage is it's isn't, it is in colour but there's no commentary. Um, and the, f the footage relies on, on just titles, subtitles. A lot of the equipment that would have um, be, been used in the dam would have come pro probably from Sydney because Warragamba Dam was built in the same time frame. By today's standards, some of the occupational health and safety um, issues in the footage here um, raise you, <laughs> would give you some cause for concern. The people working on the dam um, at this time were living on the site and um, in tents. Um, again, it's questionable whether um, you could do anything like this in that way nowadays. Um, the equipment is basic, um, it, the work is hard and there aren't a lot of, uh, there isn't too much in the way of extra assistance with clever technology. The concrete which you see here uh, the, was batched on site. The rock had to be crushed from materials they found locally, batched in a batching plant and then put into the dam. There was an aerial cableway built across the top of the gorge above the dam and the batching plant was established on the top of the hill and here we see a truck sort of tipping material down into the, into the, the batching ho uh, hoppers. Again, the cement is bagged cement, unloaded from a truck, by hand. And of course, during construction, the water running through the dam had to be diverted around the structure. Likewise, when the wall is raised, as we'll see shortly, it had to be raised in steps and, and uh, the water behind the dam allowed to overflow through the gaps while they were raising the structure. This footage is called scabbling. They're, scra they're using hydraulic jacks to roughen the surface to increase the bond when the new concrete is placed against it. As you can see, hard physical work with shovels. And smoking on the job, of course, which would have been fairly common in these days. 
simple drilling. No safety helmets, no high visibility vests, um, a limited protection in terms of foot, um, footwear. Um. Concrete being put into the skip um, and loaded onto the aerial cableway to be sent down to the dam where it's going to be placed. skip coming down on the aerial cableway. Progress at February 1950. Water spilling over the top. Spilling through gaps, um, formwork in place, ready to <coughs> construct another panel.